after any extreme event, be it wildfires, be it a, a flood year, be it a drought year, you know, uh, when all is said and done, we go back and we look. With residents and politicians calling for a review of how the levels of Okanagan Lake were handled this spring, the man who makes those decisions says it was going to happen anyways. Okanagan Lake's at record levels. Fingers are pointing, accusations are flying, questions are being asked. Was the dam open soon enough? Is there something we could have done to avoid this situation? Sean Reimer relies on snowpack data, weather forecasts and inflow predictions from the BC River Forecast Centre. With winter snowpack data indicating a possible drought, he says they start to suspect they would have a problem in the middle of April. Even though some of my modelling was showing that we aren't going to be in any problem, just the ongoing rain made me somewhat nervous. And I mentioned before we have these constraints about uh, the Okanagan River and uh, not putting in too much water to scour out fish eggs. I consult and, and, and discuss these things with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and, and Okanagan National Alliance and, and my own Ministry of Fisheries. And uh, at the time, in that April period, we were waiting for the uh, sockeye to get to that stage where we could wash them down to uh, Soyuz Lake. But I actually uh, uh, told them that I said we can't wait. We can't wait for them to be done. Uh, I think we, most of them were okay and ready at the time we made the decision, but we certainly didn't wait that long. So that uh, third week of April, we really started ramping up our flows to uh, beyond our, our sort of design capacity in the Okanagan Channel here. Reimer says this year broke all the models. It was simple mother nature at work. Because of that, he says he's not worried about a possible upcoming review. All I could do is present the same kind of numbers and the data that we had available during the times I made those uh, decisions. Uh, it's always interesting to me to look at other years and, and uh, I gave you some of the numbers for our snowpack this year, uh, you know, 79%, uh, 86%, 105% in February, March, April. Uh, last year, uh, we were at 121%, 122%, 133% at, on those same dates. And there was no problem. Uh, the difference this year was the rain. So if there's a review, I'll present those numbers and that's all I can do and then they'll make their evaluation. Watch Castanet for more from our interview with Reimer. For Castanet in Penticton, I'm Colin Dacre.